I would imagine most of you know from Scripture how Scripture tells how the God's people often were called uh, to put down a rock or a pile of rocks as a way of remembering God working in their midst in a powerful way. They, they did it at the Jordan River, for example. And in a similar way, that rock that is now at Walden is a rock of remembrance for us for a reconciliation service we had on the weekend of May 14th, 1999. Uh, on that weekend, we had really a series of solemn assemblies with a number of pastors and their spouses who had previously served at Southview, but had left really under kind of difficult circumstances, painful circumstances for them. And through that weekend, we had them come back, join with them. We asked for their forgiveness, and, and they very graciously extended to us. And it culminated in a time of a reconciliation and corporate communion together on that weekend. And following that weekend, we put that rock out there uh, to remind us of what we are to be. And on the rock are the words of Jesus uh, from John 17, where Jesus, right before he goes to the cross, remember his prayer? I, I pray they'd be one, Father. That, that weekend, that time was so of God. And, and, and so we brought that to Walden. It there now waits ahead of us for our coming there. It's right at the entry, right when you get to the gathering circle, before you come into uh, our place of worship together, the rock will be there. And really, we're, it's there for three reasons. It continues to be there for one to remind us of that time when God worked so powerfully among us uh, to bring reconciliation and healing in very tangible ways. God was so in that weekend, 17 years ago. Secondly there, it's, it's there to remind us as we walk by it that unity is to mark us uh, as God's people, uniquely so. And, and thirdly, my prayer would be that even as every time we walk, coming in to worship, leaving, or whatever reason we're over there, you just pass by that rock or stone, whether you touch it or not, and just offer a prayer, like Jesus in John 17, and, and, and pray for one. Father, would you cause us, would you cause Christ church, would you cause Christ people to be one? May it prompt us to pray. It, it waits for us there. I look forward to seeing it together.